Today is February 26th, 2023. Yesterday, I was in a prayer group with some people uh, just through Zoom. And a couple of the people in the group knew that I'm dealing with health issues. And there was a point in the meeting where people started praying for me. And they started speaking all of these really encouraging words to me and reminded me of what God is doing in my life and through me and um, just all these really positive things. And at the moment, it it felt really good, but I I didn't have time to really process it. You know, I just said thank you and and sat with it and it, it just felt really good to hear those things. And then today, uh, I heard a sermon uh, from the church I go to, and it was all about encouragement. And as I was listening to the sermon, I thought back to yesterday's experience in the prayer group, and I realized that while people were speaking these words to me and praying over me, that I just felt extremely encouraged. And through that, I felt this profound sense of peace. And the the way it worked in my, my mind, my brain, I believe there was like a healing power just in hearing those words. And... I know God's power works in all kinds of ways. Sometimes it's a miraculous sort of power. But I think just in speaking words of encouragement and words of life to other people, it can actually have a healing property in itself. And, you know, I don't know how the whole spiritual economy works, how God chooses to do something in one situation versus another Um, But I know that encouragement is extremely powerful. It's like this hidden superpower we all have. Because encouragement always makes people feel better. And it's usually never taken poorly. Um, It's different than just complimenting someone because it can be, you know speaking words that will help them get through a difficult situation or there's there's all these other kinds of situations where you might uh, be able to encourage someone another aspect of it is that it's unlimited there's no amount um, where it stops like you could give encouragement to 10 people today and you would still have more left over to give to others. It's something that's unlimited and always makes people better. And so, in a sense, it's it's like a superpower. And it's a superpower that you give to other people. So it's it's communal in a way. And I think that's one of the beautiful aspects of the Christian life, is the way that Christians are able to encourage one another and encourage those who are lost or broken or hurting and by speaking the gospel to them and letting them know what Jesus can do for them. In the Bible, it says that they will know we are Christians by the way we love each other. And encouragement is a big part of that. And so uh, I'll, I'll keep this video short today, but I just want to encourage you to go encourage other people because the words you speak can really change someone's reality. They can have healing properties. They can do amazing things. Maybe you'll encourage someone to accomplish some great feat that they otherwise wouldn't have gone after or would have quit early on unless you gave them that encouragement. 
So just try and find one person today that you can give a word of encouragement to. And if you can, connect it to the gospel and what God is doing in their lives. Because when God is involved, when Jesus is involved, there's power there. A supernatural power. And so that's what I'm going to leave you with today. Encourage someone. All right. Peace.